Health workers from several regions in Guyana are meeting to find ways to better detect and prevent the outbreak of diseases such as malaria, dengue, and diarrhea. The workshop launched at the Hardmanson Lodge brings together the Ministry of Health, the Pan American Health Organization, and the Caribbean Epidemiology Center and is geared towards a building of capacity of all those stakeholders. Today we are uh, the Ministry of Health together with PAHO um, and CAREC, um, which is ba who is based in Trinidad, um, we are ho hosting a workshop, a training workshop on outbreak investigations. And uh, we hope today's activity, which goes for three days actually, um, that we will be able to build the capacity of both Ministry of Health um, officers and officers from the region in um, developing the skills necessary to investigate outbreaks and to respond to those outbreaks effectively. Dr. Shamdi Passar, Chief Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health. Dr. Passar said that Guyana's reality makes it even more important for this type of training. You know, this has always been a challenge here for us in Guyana as a large country and various um, threats and risks e exist, especially when it comes to sanitation, hygiene, the availability of safe water, safe food, um, many, many vectors like mosquitoes and so on, and those things are difficult to, to really control. So what we try to do is to ensure that the behavior practices and so on of our population um, allows them a uh, chance to avoid um, these infections and to remain healthy. Representing PAHO at the workshop was Dr. Zoila fletcher Payton, who is a health surveillance disease prevention consultant. And she said it is very important not only to train people for a national response to disease outbreaks, but also for a regional response. She said that PAHO continues to work with all stakeholders to ensure that they are prepared, especially at the ports of entry. For by 2014, July, so from now to two years, we need to have really in the country well designed the capacity and the capability increase of these two designated points of entry, is the international airport and the seaport. Also at this time we are working to try to strengthen everything related to surveillance, reporting, preparedness in relation to chemical events and in relation to radionuclear events. The workshop runs for three days and all regions with the exceptions of Region 1 and 9 were represented. For Capital News, Raul Collins.